Welcome to the Jaron Jarvis channel. I am Jaron Jarvis. Today, I would like to introduce to you, arcade stations build to take control of users. I was always a fan of myth stories especially fusses about video games. This time I was looking into the famous arcade game called Polybius and I found this thread in one of the forums might be true maybe not but here is what I found, they made me do stuff they had control of my body that whole time, I know that because I can't remember anything the news are sharing about me, how could I kill an ex-FBI agent his wife and two kids I can't even kill a cockroach. I have always been a lone wolf, I prefer staying home playing video games or watching Netflix, rather than going out. I also suffer from society anxiety so I can't stand working neither talk with people. That night in my bed as always before I go to sleep I always go to Craigslist check if there are some interesting offers, I found an authentic arcade machine for like $200 I immediately sent a message asking about it the conversation went something like this, me, hey is this offer still available, does it perfectly work? Ah uh, no, yes and yes, but you need to take it right now, or else the offer is off. Dot me, alright, what game is in this arcade machine and if you can assure delivery right now I'll give you $220. Ah no, to be honest I have no clue what the game is called but I assure you it works perfectly, where do you live? Me, okay then, I live at. Ah no, alright give me a number where I can reach you, you don't live far where I am right now I'll be there in 30. Me, sure, here is my phone. I jumped off my bed was so excited about that arcade station I'm going to get, I didn't even realize how creepy this story is, I mean like why do he or she want to get rid of this arcade station that fast. I took one of my anxiety pills and sit in the dark phone in my hand waiting for the phone call, I was in a deep sleep, the sound of knocking on my door scared the shit out of me a loud banging and I could hear I'd swear voices more than three different people talking behind my front door, I approached the people to check in then my phone starts ringing, me hello? Annan hey, my name, I'm the arcade station guy open up we, I'm outside your front door. Me sure. At that moment I didn't even realize how the hell did he know my name or which floor and apartment I live in I'm always sign in with a fake account in Craigslist, but I was too sleepy to analyze what was going on. As I opened the door a black man with a black suit was standing outside holding black glasses on his left hand leaning on the arcade machine, it was huge and I live on the third floor those voices I heard earlier must have helped him. Me hello sir can you please help me push it in. Annan looks at his shoulder looked at the machine then at me sure where do you want it? Me just here pointing the living room. We got behind the machine and started pushing it inside, it was huge I'd say 5 feet 3 inches feet around 100 pounds was a little dusty the box was all black the screen had some scratches at the edges the arcade was titled Polybius. Alright I'm done here Good night," said the man while walking out my apartment. Sir, your money, I said oh. Yes sorry yes thanks he added while taking the money from my hand have a good one was the last thing I heard from him before he left and closed the door behind him. I was alone me and this giant arcade machine it's like every 80 child dream owning an arcade machine, it was mine all mine I was so proud of myself I was happy best purchase I've ever made, that what was going inside my head at that exact moment. All I have to do now is know how to power up this baby I leaned to check behind the machine and found a medium sized button that I clicked labeled power on slash off. To my surprise, the screen turned on it immediately showed a black screen Polybius press start to play written in white. I hit the start button and all I remembered about that game was kind of those hypno games I was a spaceship trying to dodge some lights and in the same time expose some asteroids with my missiles. That was the last thing I remembered. Today I woke up in a dumpster a town away from my hometown with blood and a gun in my hand, I put a hoodie I found next to me went straight to the train station when suddenly I heard footsteps behind me I looked at my shoulders was a woman as soon as our eyes made contact FBI stop she screamed at my face, I immediately juked her and start running away I had a gun and blood on me even though I have no idea what happened that night but I'm holding a what seems to be a murder weapon and victim's blood that's enough evidence to lock me in I run as fast as I could I pushed an old man out of his bike and drove back to my house.
There was no forced entry I unlocked my front door, the arcade machine had disappeared my laptop too but they didn't take my phone I immediately grabbed it and had the reflex to call the man with the suit, I need explanations. Silence in the line but someone picked up help me please what's going on? I screamed into the phone. More silence please for God's sake what's up with this arcade game? You have been chosen by the government to do a dirty job. You killed an ex-FBI agent his wife and two kids 8 and 12 years old. A deep voice responded the arcade is a tool we use to control people so they can do what we aren't allowed to do this arcade has been our tool for ages I couldn't believe what I'm hearing. Your picture is on all the news over the country. You have served your country the family you killed was about to leak some top secret information to the news now I think you still have the gun you know what to do. Beep beep. The call ended. I was set up, my life had come to an end they have made me do stuff I can't live with no one will trust me, my phone start ringing again it was my mother I think she knows she saw the news. Banging on my front door FBI opened up. I'm looking at my gun right now I don't know what to do.